Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I wanna make a very important video for a lot of you guys today. A lot of you are wondering, when is the best time to buy Team of the Year cards? Now these cards are just out right now. The full team is not out yet. Right now when I'm recording this, we have the midfielders in packs. The defenders are coming uh, today, actually uh, on Wednesday. And then Thursday should be the full Team of the Year in packs attackers midfielders defenders and the goalkeeper should all be in packs uh from thursday through monday uh until monday at 6 p.m uk is basically how they've done this promo in the past and i think that's how they're going to do it again so thursday 6 p.m uk is when the full team of the year comes back into packs and that's very important for how we look at what is the best time to buy some of these cards, whether it's an attacker, whether it's a defender, whether it is a midfielder, you wanna get a good buy time for that price. And we're gonna look at that in this video today, kind of what is the best time frame, what you should be looking for, and what other market movements can be a precursor for some of these things uh, happening on the game. So I wanna show you last year, this is last year's tweet from EA Sports about FIFA 19 team of the year being put into packs and it was on January 10th, which was a Thursday last year. So this tweet is just basically confirming and showing me showing you guys that yes, it was Thursday last year when these cards were put into packs. And I think that's very important because a lot of people are curious about these cards and when they are going to be fully in packs because right now we don't have the defenders when I'm recording this video. Uh, and last year the defenders were packed a bunch. So their, their prices kind of started out low. But if we, we're going to look at some graphs from last year really quick right now, and you're going to see that there was kind of like one day and one time it was a great buy time for a lot of these cards. So let's start looking at some of these graphs from last year's team of the year. These cards probably look familiar. Of course, you have the starting 11 and the Neymar, which I'll talk about that 12th man Neymar and how that pertains to the market this year in just a second as well. Uh, so let's start off with some of these team of the years, right? Let's look at Mbappe. Last year, I zoomed all these graphs in about a month. Last year, the cheapest day that these guys were when they were in packs. Um, obviously, this Mbappe card was one of the most desired cards in foot. Last year on PlayStation, he was 3.7 million coins on Friday. He hit his cheapest. And then three days later, by Monday, he was 4.1 mil. So we went up 400,000 coins in three days, basically. After Even with weekend league sell-off, nobody was selling this card off. He hit his peak on Monday, 4.1 mil. And then, of course, we had the whole future stars debacle. But if you're looking to buy a team of the year card to play with this weekend, this weekend, I would say you want to get that card. Please get that card on Friday. When we're looking at a lot of these graphs today, Friday seems like the buy time for a lot of these cards. And it just makes sense, right? Because you might think, well, why would, why would Thursday not be the cheapest day if all the cards are coming into packs on Thursday? Um, and everybody's going to be opening safe packs and everybody's going to be doing this and that Friday, they run lightning rounds and they're, it's just a Friday, you know, and this is what I think I came down to last year. And I noticed is that yes, people open some safe packs on Thursday, but people go at it again on Friday, right? Because Friday is the weekend Thursday. They might not have as much time to play foot. They may not have time off work or off school or whatever. And that's why you see Friday as the absolute lowest day, um, on the market. And of course it also happens that Thursday is a day where they drop a ton too. What this graph, what this daily graph doesn't exactly show you is the price on Thursday. Last year, Mbappe on Wednesday was 4.3. The price on Thursday is 3.9. So they come back into packs and they're dropping all day on Thursday. So if you guys have any of these team of the years from this year, I would definitely try to get them out on Wednesday today at some point before they do go back into packs tomorrow on uh, Thursday. But what you see on these graphs is that Thursday, it starts to drop, right? Well, that drop off is really fast and it's really quick because these cards come back into packs and when the full team is out, people can't resist. They start opening up their safe packs and a lot of these prices start dropping. But Friday ends up being that cheapest day because you have more packs and more lightning rounds and then after all the packs and stuff come out on Friday, you start to see those cards rise as people buy them for weekend league. People want to play with them in the weekend league use them and they spend their coins on them on that Friday night into Saturday, especially for the attackers, you're gonna see them rise. Now let's zoom in on KDB's graph here and look at a midfielder graph from last year. This card was heavily, heavily desired. 2.4 mil on Friday, all the way up to 2.6. So a nice 200,000 coin rise out of KDB into the next week. Uh, for last year's card, we'll look at Conte as well. He was at 2.2 mil and he went up to 2.5, almost 2. Point, yeah, right there, 2.517 on Monday. So. For a lot of you people that are looking at team of the year cards, regardless of what card it is, if it's any team of the year, 
I think Friday is going to be that buy time. And I think that buy time specifically is going to be that second hour of lightning rounds on um, on Friday for team of the year. I think it's going to be that second hour for lightning rounds because that first hour stuff gets packed. And then that second hour for like the first 30 minutes, they usually run the 50K lightning round and they run the 100K lightning round. And for that first 50K lightning round, a bunch of supply comes on the market and a bunch of people pack the card from, you know, opening up FIFA points or whatever they have uh, for that Friday of team of the year. And then boom, those people whose cards didn't sell the first round, they check and they go and sell that card again. It's the relist that really knocked that card down another, you know, echelon in price, maybe another 50, 100, 200K for some of these cards that are, you know, big time cards. And there's going to be a lot of supply and on them coming into the game, um, that's kind of be your, gonna be your time to buy, I think. So like the, during the second lightning round of Friday of this week, when the full team of the year is in packs, that is when I think your best time to buy is going to be for a lot of these cards. For a card like this Mane, he's right now right around 3 million coins. I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a guy like this drop down to under 2 million coins. I honestly would not be surprised. Last year, like look at this Conte graph from last year. Last year, Conte was 3.5 mil for the first couple of days. Just like last year, the midfielders are super duper rare. So I think the midfielders have a lot of a way to drop. And of course, like what did Mbappe do last year? Mbappe was 4.1, he was 4.3 mil, dropped down to 4.7. So we dropped 500,000 coins and he was one of the most desired cards out of the team of the year. This year, uh, I think Imane has a decent amount of, to drop. I think De Jong is going to drop a bunch. And I think De Bruyne, and I mean, I think all these guys are going to drop a large chunk just because of the amount of packs that people have saved. And especially with the amount of lightning rounds that EA drops in this year's game, uh, there's going to be so many freaking packs open and so many coins coming onto the market on that Friday. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. I would not be surprised if this Mbappe card, excuse me, if this Mane card gets down to about 2 million coins. Uh, I really would not be surprised if it gets down there. And then Frankie de Young, I think right now he's like 2.2. Says he's about 2.29 mil on the market. I would not be surprised if this guy gets down to around like 1.5 uh, because I think he's going to have one of the most highest pack weights. Also, he's going to be one of the most in demand because it's Barcelona with the Messi links. We had a Messi SBC, obviously. This card is very good in game. It's the first time he's ever gotten a team of the year. I think a lot of people are going to want to try this card out, but I think he's going to get packed a bunch. So maybe about 1.5 mil is a price that you might be able to see on a De Young. And then a Messi. How much is Messi going to drop? With Messi being so good in this year's game, how much is Messi going to drop right now Messi shows it right, right around 5.5 mil 5.55 mil he's right around 5.6 ish right now 5.53 at the moment so obviously when he comes back into packs I would not be super duper afraid of saying that I think this card could dip under 5 million coins I think that's a decent decent shout let's look at his graph from last year so Messi was 5.7 mil so he's actually pretty comparable to this year let's zoom in pretty comparable to this year in terms of what his price is we went from 5.7 mil Thursday, Friday, Saturday actually shows on here is his lowest price as 5 million coins. So he dropped about 700,000 coins. Although last year, Messi just wasn't as good as he is this year in this game. I do think Messi will have a rebound. Unlike last year, he didn't have much of a rebound uh, out of packs. I think Messi will have a rebound this year just because this card, uh, Messi is just loads and loads better. Uh, this year than what he was last year. So Mbappe is still going to be one of those ones that is in demand so much. Um, but I think this Messi card, wow, 5-5 five, five flat right there. Interesting. 5-5 five, five flat. Played a, This guy played a couple games with it, scored three goals. Played one game, scored three goals, and said, I'm out. Let me sell the card. He sold it for 5.5 mil. That's crazy. But I do think you'll see this card under 5 million coins on Friday when these team of the years do hit their lowest point. So again, Friday for these team of the year cards, it's almost, it's a pretty clear cut example. There's not going to be a ton of stuff that's going to affect these cards as much as just the packs, the sheer saved up packs, the sheer lightning rounds and all the other packs that are going to be put out at that time, especially with upgrades coming out as well. They should be coming out uh, repeatable upgrade SBCs. Some people are going to pack team of the years out of those and there's going to be less supply or less demand, just a smidge less for those cards on the market. But I do expect to see a nice drop on these cards on Thursday and Friday with Friday being the lowest day based on what we saw last year. 
heading into the weekend league, people will purchase these cards. They know they're going out of pack soon and they will rise and they will go back up. And people will have a ton of coins by the end of this promo. They keep running lightning rounds. They keep running, like they're running four lightning rounds a day. They did it again today with the midfielders. Uh, they didn't just run the 6, 7, and 8 p.m. UK lightning rounds. They also ran a 10 p.m. UK 125,000 coin pack lightning round, which I think is pretty crazy. That's not something they've usually done, but you know, EA's out there trying to grab the bag, trying to get the money. So that's what they're doing to also get some more coins onto this game and get some more money back from the lightning round. So again, if you're looking to buy a team of the year, no matter what it is, I know I'm not looking at defenders in this video. That's just because they're not out yet. Friday looks to be that buy time for some of those cards. And I want to talk some other market movements, especially Thursday flipping, because I know a lot of you guys like the Thursday flip in this game. You like to look at some cards that you can possibly buy to flip. If we're talking about just some cards that go up with weekend league rewards this week, is it going to go up this week? What's going to happen with that? And my answer to you is it's absolutely going to go up this week based on what we saw last year. And also based on what we've seen this week so far with cards rising on the market with card prices fluctuating. A lot of the out of packs informs and a lot of those meta usable informs special cards and even gold cards on this game people just having the ability to get more coins through opening packs is showing already on the market a lot of these informs are up already so if you guys have not bought weekend league flips technically the cheapest day was like sunday or monday before team of the year attackers dropped but you still are going to be able to find some deals on wednesday today uh, that you can buy for weekend league flipping into Thursday. Now, when's the best buy time gonna be for a lot of these cards? It's going to be earlier rather than later. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of panic selling on the out of packs informs or even meta gold cards later in the day on Wednesday. I think it's gonna be more of a buy time in the middle or even before 6 p.m. UK. If there's any panic selling on any of these cards, especially, especially center backs, especially some upper tier center backs, especially like maybe a Ramos. I don't know if that's super upper tier, but Militao Road to the Final Card is somebody who I have my eye on. I'm watching that card really closely. Today, when the David Luiz SBC came out, this guy dropped down to about 510, 5, just about 510, 515, really quick. I would expect to see this card again down towards that range, especially with Varan possibly getting in Team of the Week and stuff like that. So a lot of the meta meta cards that are still over 500,000 coins could take a dip in price again with more panic selling. Icons as well. One specific icon that I was looking at tonight on the live stream was Carlos Alberto's 87 rated center back. This card is down a ton. We watched him get listed actually under 700K for a little bit. He was 680,000 coins, which he's, he's risen back up a little bit. He's like up 30K at the moment. He's 730, but he, this guy around like 680 or 690, I think is a great buy. Fantastic, fantastic card. People love this card in foot. He's an out of packs center back position change icon. So for some of your baby icons that might be center backs, maybe even like a Canavaro, who is a very, very desired player in this game, you might see some upticks in price in, from the panic selling on before the, de with the defenders and when the defenders come out and when there's lightning rounds today on Wednesday and then after later into the evening, you still might see some buy up on prices like that. Except I don't think these icons are going to stay inflated for a little bit lo for longer. I do think there's going to be some more crashing on the upper echelon with all the week with all the rewards that are going to be opened and with all of the team of the year prices coming down. Uh, it's going to be something to watch with these icons because that affected icons a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch last year. But again, back to the weekend league flipping stuff. Just basically the stuff that we talk about almost every week with weekend league flips, right? We're looking at informs that are popular, that are meta, that are used a ton. This Firmino hero card, I'm a fan of. This Nabry card, I'm a huge fan of as a flip, right? This card last week for weekend league flips, when he was in packs at like 58 or 60K, he went up to over 70,000 coins. He was actually 75K at one point. Back down to 66K, right now he's 65. This is the type of card that if you see it tomorrow, this is the type of card you might want to be able to put your coins into if you have the ability to do it. I am currently unassigned. I hope that for some reason EA drops the upgrade packs really soon. 62K for this, man. 62K. Listing expired. It would have been stuck in my unassigned, but I think it would have been worth it. 62K for that card is a fantastic, fantastic price. Um, even 66K is not bad. So a card like that, these out of packs meta informs, again, you're going to be the best way to find cards like this 
is to look on Footbin. What was Allen last week? Allen under 100K seems like a really good buy for me. He was 93K while in packs, went to 107. He was back under 100K early this week. He's, he's risen back up a little bit. Like I said, some of these meta informs have risen back up a little bit, but not a ton. There's still plenty of opportunity to buy some of these cards uh, based on you look at their, your footbin graphs, right? This Royce was 250 at one point. He's now 275. All it takes is a couple listings and a, a little bit of panic to get him back to, two, to 250 or 260 even I would consider a buy as he was almost 300,000 coins before the panic started happening. He went to 313. And there's going to be more coins on this market after weekend league rewards. The question is, is the market going to rise because of all the packs that are open? There's still going to be people that open uh, their weekend league rewards and open packs on Thursday. And this market just has so much more coins now that I think it has to go up. I really do think that it has to go up. Some of these team of group stage cards could be decent buys as well. Cool Bali at 63K is kind of low. Just kind of look through these cards, man. The ones that are meta, that are popular, that link to, you know, especially the under like 350, under that kind of coin range. Deli Ali is one of my fan favorites. One of my favorites. I like flipping that card. Uh, Road to the Finals could be a good shot as well, just because they're stupid rare in this game. Uh, Goretzka rebounded nicely from Panic today. Uh, but maybe you look at some more Panic on these cards. Maybe they get Panic sold a little bit before rewards. That could be a good pickup. Uh, nine going at 140. If you can get that at 130, that's not bad. Uh, stuff like that. Look through some of these past team of the week markets. Last year, last year when we were looking at these cards, I remember looking at these last year and thinking, was the market going to actually rise due to all the packs being opened with this team of the year promo? And last year, the market went up bounds, leaps and bounds in the categories that are like the under 250,000 coin market, right? Like this Saul, usually he's around like. 30,000 coins. He's inflated right now because of Iniesta. But um, the the market last year in the past team of the weeks and the out-of-pack special card market went up a bunch during rewards and after rewards just because there are so many more coins on this game um, that people can use and, and build teams with. So that's going to be a good look. Now, if you're looking for some gold cards, there could be some gold cards that I might say is a decent shout, especially if it's kind of like a buy for your team. This Van Dyke card is going out of packs tomorrow. He was 400k. He really has not gone up that much. He's still around like 410, I think, 411. He's actually up a little bit. He's up like 15k because he was 400k, 400k earlier today. If you see this price in the morning before uh, defenders are released, if you see this somewhere around 400k again, I don't think that's too bad of a price. I would say that's a decent one, in my opinion. Kind of a, to, to look at a price like that. But again, kind of look around the rest of the market. One thing I do want to mention. I failed to mention this. This current team of the week that is going out of packs uh, very, very soon just got dynamic images uh, earlier tonight before I'm recording this. Team of the week 16 just got dynamic images and their cards went up like 5% immediately. Uh, I don't know if you were able to get in on some of this, but uh, I will show the prices on Footbin right now. Earlier tonight, I was literally live streaming when this happened. Adama went from 75k to 80,000 coins in a flash. Erickson went up from like 65 to 70. Martial went from 140 to 144, 147. Kane went from 150 to 158. So a lot of these cards just Alexander Arnold was 65k like two like 24 hours ago. He was 65k. He's up to 78. So these cards look like if you got them on um, on Monday or actually on yeah Monday or even Tuesday morning. Those were fantastic, fantastic buys then. And I think you definitely want to take the coins on these um, on Thursday. Speaking of taking the coins, when is the sell time for Weekend League flipping? For stuff that you're going to flip for Weekend League, this is the stuff that I have. Uh, I've got 224,000 coins at the moment. I'm probably going to be putting the rest of that into rare golds for upgrade pack SBCs. I really want to smash those upgrades. That's my goal. So I've got my Weekend League flips that I bought here on Monday, and a lot of those prices are up already. I need to raise some of these, to be honest, man, because Werner right now shows on Footbin as won 156,000 coins. So I'm going to make sure that I keep listing these high enough so that they don't sell before rewards. I want them to sell after. Um, but uh, the sell time for this stuff on Thursday is probably going to be somewhere around the time frame of um, just get it sold before Friday. That's in my opinion. I would get it sold before Friday morning. If there's people that are buying teams on Thursday, take the sales on the out of packs in forms. Last year I did the same thing and it worked out well because there was a little bit of panic on Friday some, with some of the stuff. Not much, just a little bit. 
um, especially with the icons though. We'll talk about more of that stuff later this week. Um, but if you do have either of these nominee cards or if you have out of packs in forms, I would say try to take the dough on them um, really soon after rewards just to be safe, right? Because we don't like to hold things in this market that could be crashing. They could drop a sick SBC after 6 p.m. on Thursday after people have their weekend league rewards and when the full team is in packs and then boom, you have a little bit of an issue and your your cards maybe don't rise up as much just because of those just because of those inflations. So maybe for a lot of those cards, you list them high right now and you try to get out of them Thursday. I don't think you have to be out by Thursday at 6 p.m. UK just because I think the market's gonna rise into the evening, especially if you stay on the cheaper end of things like the under 200,000 coin informs and other special cards and stuff like that. So again, this current team of the week though, is I think a little bit out of reach. Martial right now is 150,000 coins basically for this new striker card with the new dynamic image. Uh, Footpin says 148 and 147 is, is basically right on. So yeah, a lot of these cards are up already a little bit, but I think there's gonna be some areas on the market where you could pick some of them up. Even some of these team of the year nominee cards, I think could be decent shouts. People haven't been talking about these that much, but it, we're still in the team of the year promo, right? Uh, this Firmino was 80,000 coins literally just 15 minutes ago when I was looking up to 83K. So if you see any, the open bids on cards like these are fantastic and the lazy buyers on cards like these are fantastic too. So these could be great Thursday flips just as long as they don't put them back in packs on Thursday with the full team of the year. So that'd be the only uh, scary, I guess, the only um, issue or problem that I could see arising with team of the year nominees uh, being Thursday flips, but I do like some of those. I like Allison personally. He's already a bit inflated. Um, I was buying these for um, under 100,000 coins and it looks like right now he is 110,000 coins, 107 with an undercut right there. First owner tradable, interesting. First owner tradable, just now getting listed on the market. I kind of wish I had the coins for that because there's probably not many first owner tradable team of the year nominees unless they get put back into packs. That's the wrong basic chem style. We want goalkeeper basic. Uh, so yeah, that's basically my thoughts on some of those. Are there a lot of fresh ones here? I don't see any fresh ones. I just want to check and see if there was any fresh ones on the market. And I don't see any. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Any back here? Oop, there's one right there. Third one in, one, two, three. So it's that 107. So that's like one of the only fresh ones. So that's interesting that we have fresh ones. I do think there's a possibility they throw these back in packs though, either Thursday or Friday. So I'm going to stay away from those cards just as a precaution. I think there's going to be plenty of other areas on the market that you will be able to make coins from uh, in terms of weekend league flips. I would stay away. I know some people in the stream earlier today mentioned to me this Tristegen card because he was panic sold because of the Neuer SBC. I don't know if I, I might stay away a little bit from uh, from uh, Tristegen because he doesn't have any team of the year cards or, you know, big time cards that link to him, and especially Neuer being the same nationality as him. Uh, you know, I try to stay away from Thursday flipping goalkeepers. Allison's a different one for me just because it's, people pay so much for that freaking nominee card. It's ridiculous. Um, but uh, I would try to stay away from goalkeepers. That's my opinion on some of that. I think the other position chain, other positions are really, really good ones to look forward to. Of course, you can always look for link investments to the current team of the week that would be coming out. Um, and right now, we I don't have that team of the week to show you, but I can show you a prediction really quick to end the video. Link investments to these cards, of course, as they could come out as reds, could be great. Varane, you know, we're talking French guys in the back line, could be fantastic. Ronaldo getting a team of the week card, not many, not a ton of links to him. But maybe a Pepe card could be interesting. A Telez could cause some panic on the left back market. Um, who else? Gabriel Jesus could be fantastic for maybe a guy like uh, Screen Bernard. You might want to look into him or maybe a Willian in form. Just some of your Brazilian links, maybe a Fabinho in form or Fabinho nominee if you want to mess around with the nominee. That would be a card if we do get uh, Team of the Week cards from the Prem, game, Prem games that were on the first of the month that would be something you could look into. That was last Wednesday. So that was when the last team of the week came out, but sometimes they throw in those cards for this team of the week. And I think this team of the week should be a good one because it's going to be out during team of the year. So that could be something you look to link invest as well. Right when the team of the year comes out, there's going to be people looking at some of those. Uh, but the first one that comes to mind would be a screen Bernard. And I think I have one of him at like 80 something K. How much is he right now? Screen Bernard is 90. He's over 90 K interesting so he's he's risen up a decent amount 94k 93k 
this guy was like around 80k or lower to mid 80s at one point so he's risen up a little bit but that could be a decent link investment along with some of the other team of the team of the week cards so yeah boys that should be team of the week flipping and the best time to buy some of the team of the year cards it's gonna be a fun ride the next couple of days so good luck have fun and uh hopefully you guys can get your hands on one of these team of the year cards whether you pack it whether you buy it or just have some fun with this game and hopefully we continue to get some good value SBCs as well. If you guys enjoyed this video and it felt like you helped you out, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.